All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol CRNT, Saragon Networks. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel and to all the subscribers. Welcome back. I do want to announce that I have a Twitter account and the link is down below. And on Twitter, you will receive notifications to anything that you may miss here on YouTube. So stay tuned on there as well. Now, for every single investor and viewer, stay tuned till the end because I have a ticker symbol you won't want to miss. And this ticker symbol has been downgraded by analysis ratings and it's been falling since earnings day. And there's a lot of room and potential moving forward for this company. So stay tuned till the end of this video so we can look at its chart and what ticker symbol to add to your watch list. So here we are with CRNT, Saragon Networks. So it fell, right? It started to fall from those highs up here of 690 and we're hanging out right here at around 445 and it rose up a little bit today now what we've talked about in the previous videos is how arc took a position on it and how they're going to react moving forward so today um i did a video in the previous uh week right or over the weekend about how saragon works and how it's working in this index fund right they call it an etf but it's an index fund izrl and how it worked all together as a whole and I'm noticing that there is confirmation that that is how it works. So when one of them goes up, they all go up or they all go down. Like they move together. Now, they're going to move from placement to placement according to their market value. But their share prices don't change unless they change all together. It's like a whole entire together thing. Like let's just see here, for example. Look. So when we come over to today, right? This is today. And you see five, right? 68 to 89. And let's see nano dimensions. It's in fourth place. Today it actually ran up for where it was down here somewhere, all the way up here because of its market value. 189,200. So let's look here at the 22nd. So Saragon Networks, 568,289, same amount of shares. Market value is pretty close. And then let's look at nano. So nano dimensions is 189. 1200 shares at 2 million market value when we go right back over to today same shares same shares market value changed and that's how they move up and down but you want to look closely at their shares because the shares are moving up and down as well but they move collectively as a whole so right now no shares have been bought or sold at this point basically like let's just pick an, a, another random one nice right Nice, N-I-C-E, 9,824. And this is just a completely random one. It's going to show us how this works. And there we go, nice again, 9,824. And this is the 25th. And previously, that was here, right, on the 22nd. And we can see here, again, the same amount, same amount, nothing changed. So here we are. Why are we going to talk about how ARK Invest keeps Saragon in this ETF? Well, for as long as it stays here, that's going to be a good sign because they believe in Saragon Networks having an influence on their index fund going up because that's the only reason why it would stay. If not, they would rebalance this and remove it. They went up to almost 1 million shares at one point and then it went down by half. That's where I got concerned. And now I'm learning how this index works. This is not working like the ETFs that we follow for nano dimensions, which a lot of people mention nano dimensions was added here as well, which is really good because at some point with how bullish they are about NNDM, the index is going to hold itself up moving forward in the upward direction. So I found it interesting that it's gone added. I found interesting that this has Saragon networks as well. And if you haven't seen my nano dimensions video, I highly recommend it. It's going to be down below in the link, or you can just go to my recent uploads on the page and you'll see it there. A lot of great information because nano dimensions is skyrocketing right now. We need to see how it's going to cool off or if it's going to continue to run, but it has been moving. So back to Saragon. Why do we want to know this? Because if it stays in this ETF, it's a good sign that they're feeling slightly bullish because that's going to maintain their ETF going upwards. Now, it pulled back and we're seeing it run back up. So what do we want to watch 
for Saragon moving forward? Well, the first thing is right here at 560. 545 is where we're at. 560 needs to be broken through to reach newer highs and new resistance levels. So I want every single investor to be aware of that. And the lowest point reached in the day was 503. As long as that is not broken through, this won't see newer lows. And the 50-day moving average is 516. As long as we're above 516, we're in bullish territory. The moment we're below it, we're in bearish territory. So we want every single investor to keep in mind these numbers so that we're prepared and equipped for the next trading day. So keep that in mind. But right now, it's consolidated pretty well. And the lowest point to keep in mind in the coming weeks and days is 450. As long as this stays above that point, it's going to hold itself up pretty well in this area, probably consolidate or start the bullish run again. And what we want to watch is how Saragon Networks is influencing this ETF and how ARK Invest is approaching it. But the fact that it has stayed and not disappeared completely so far, it's a good sign. It's a good sign on how ARK Invest feels about it. But just because ARK Invest feels good about it or it seems like a good sign, this is not the only sole way or purpose of following this stock. There's many other ways to do your due diligence and research, but I've decided to watch how ARK Invest is going to react to it because they usually have a good analysis and direction of potential for many stocks moving forward. So I like that about them. They're not 100% perfect. There is no one that's 100% perfect, but it's always good to kind of see what's going on and what other investor or institutional investors sentiment is. So I look forward to seeing your guys' comments down below on how you feel about Saragon moving forward. It's looking pretty good that it's staying in that index and that they feel bullish about it because that's going to push up their index even if the stock's amount, right, amount of shares doesn't go up or down. But as we can see here, it didn't go up or down by much, but the market value from the 22nd and the 2 millions range, right, 2.8 million, went up to 3 million, and that's what they see this going forward doing. So it's going to be interesting. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community, and don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Stay tuned for all the information on the ticker symbol you won't want to miss. You definitely want to have this one on your radar. So for everyone that has stayed to this point in the video, the ticker symbol I'm about to share with you guys is a ticker symbol that has been pulled back and down since earnings date and also analysis ratings have been reiterated on the downside. So it's being pulled down by analysis ratings and also since the date of earnings, there's been some sell-off. Now that could be some profit taking, uncertainty, or that analysis ratings is having some effect on the stock. That is why this is one to definitely have on your radar and keep on your watch list because it's a proven and well-known company and it could be a temporary pullback. This ticker symbol is INTC. Once again, the ticker symbol is INTC and that is Intel Corp. Now, one thing I do want you guys to keep in mind is the fact that it does have room to pull down even more. I'm not saying that this is the bottom, but it's looking like it's holding itself up. So we want to watch this closely. Now, if you're really going to watch this closely moving into the next coming days and weeks, one of the points I will look at is down here at 51, right? From where it currently sits at 55. The next point would be down here at 49. And then I would just look down here at the very bottom since way back here at 45. Now, it hit other lows throughout the year, but I will look at it from 45, 49, 51, and then where we're currently at to kind of just dissect this chart as much as possible to have some type of idea of how it's reacting within these levels. But this is definitely one you want to have on your watch list moving forward because this could be a temporary pullback. And even if it goes lower, it's going to be a temporary pullback because if we look at the market cap of this company, it's in the billions, right? And for the price that it is, the average volume is pretty high, you know, and today's volume um, was not too bad either. So, I mean, there's a lot of movement going on here. And when you look at their net profit, I mean, it's pretty reasonable. 
they're they're still with room to grow and there's just so much potential and this is a proven company now it took a big hit back here around august and even here in october once things started to get a little bit more official that they were no longer having their largest account which was with apple then it brought itself right back up so i believe this is a temporary pullback and there's two ways to look at it either an opportunity or an opportunity to stay away but usually these temporary pullbacks are opportunities i'm not here to tell you guys to buy sell or hold any position on intel corp or intc stock but i am here to enlighten you guys on stocks that are looking like an opportunity due to temporary setbacks either profit taking after earnings and uncertainty because of the analysis ratings this could be the bottom here but i'm not saying it is it could actually continue to pull down and then we have our other points to look at 51 dollars 49 and 45 if it breaks through all of those but beyond 45 we could see newer lows but i mean like i said that's when you have to reanalyze what's going on so this is definitely one to keep in mind and if it consolidates within this area it could mean that there is no longer a newer low that was as far as it was going to go but i said it could mean that that's why you need to watch this carefully but at the end of the day intc it's a well-known company large market cap and revenue is coming in every single quarter for this one i mean you could just see it it's been growing every single year and when you go to quarterly i mean it's just phenomenal they're in the billions of revenue and net income so very interesting stuff for this to be pulled down like that significantly and with all the ai and these chip makers and all this opportunity of innovation intc is going to get a market share of that regardless so i could see this having way more room in the upward direction regardless of how low it goes so something to keep in mind as always thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money